Hello students, welcome to the channel and you are watching the Ultimate English Teacher and Lecturer. Hello students, in this video I will discuss about the famous author Ray Dollars Bradbury. Author Ray Dollars Bradbury was born on August 22, 1920 in Wokugan, Illinois to Leonard Spalding Bradbury alignment for power and telephone utilities and Esther Moberg Bradbury, a Swedish immigrant. Bradbury enjoyed a relatively idyllic childhood in Wokugan, which he later incorporated into several semi-autobiographical novels and short stories. As a child, he was a huge fan of magicians and a voracious reader of adventure and fantasy fiction, especially L. Frank Baum, Jules Verne, and Edgar Rice Burroughs. Bradbury decided to become a writer at about age 12 or 13. He later said that he made the decision in hopes of emulating his heroes and to live forever through his fiction. Ray Bradbury was an American fantasy and horror author who rejected being categorized as a science fiction author, claiming that his work was based on the fantastical and unreal. His best-known novel is Fahrenheit 451 a dystopian study of future American society in which critical thoughts is outlawed. He is also remembered for several other popular works, including The Martian Chronicle and Something Weak This Way Comes. Bradbury owned the Pulitzer in 2007 and is one of the most celebrated authors of the 21st century. Despite his apparent distaste for television, Bradbury advocated for film adaptations of his work. He wrote numerous screenplays and treatments, including a 1956 take on Moby Dick. In 1986, Bradbury developed his own HBO television series, allowing him to produce adaptations of his short stories. The series ran until 1992. Famously prolific, Bradbury wrote for several hours every day throughout his entire life allowing him to publish more than 30 books, close to 600 short stories and numerous poems, essays, screenplays and plays. Though Bradbury owned many honors and awards throughout his life, his favorite was perhaps being named Ideas Consultant for the United States Pavilion at the 19, in the 1964 World's Fair. Can you imagine how excited I was? He later said about the honor, cause I am changing lives and that's the thing. If you can build a good museum, if you can make a good film, if you can build a good world sphere, if you can build a good mall, you are changing the future. You are influencing people so that they will get up in the morning and say, hey, it's out while going to work. That's my function and it should be the function of every science fiction writer around. To offer hope, to name the problem and then offer the solution. And I do all the time. Bradbury died in Los Angeles on June 5, 2012. At the age of 91, he was survived by daughter Suzanne, Ramona, Bettina and Alexandra as well as several grandchildren. An inspiration to writers, teachers and science fiction enthusiasts among countless others Bradbury fascinating works will be remembered for the decades to come.
Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.